yesterday I was preparing my macroeconomics and ma'am while preparing I was facing some doubts can you please clear them definitely let me know what kind of doubts are yes ma'am ma'am since macroeconomics comprises of different terminologies which a management student needs to understand mm -hmm. so can you please enumerate the ways by which we can understand them definitely so um, this funda does not apply only to economics but to all the subjects the first and foremost is the conceptual plan so whenever you are uh, reading some term then you think you are trying to understand some term please understand the conceptual plan because that is more important and macroeconomics is more about the connections between the two variables okay? so for example how unemployment will impact economic growth how inflation will impact economic growth how the foreign exchange rate changes in the exchange rate the currency depreciation how it will impact the economic growth so try to build the linkages between the two variables this will help you to get more clarity Ma'am, the other question is that the concepts of economics are always incomplete without diagrams. Yes. So, how can students assimilate these diagrams? Okay, so very interesting question. Economics is always studied with diagrams. It cannot be studied in isolation. So, whenever you are studying or whenever you are revising the concept, the first point is do draw the diagram by you. It is not just you have just looked at the diagram. Draw the diagram by you. So while drawing the diagram, you should be able to write what is there on the axis, what is there on the y-axis, and then again comes the rule of conceptual clarity. So if a curve is downward sloping, what is the reason behind it? If the curve is upward sloping, what is the reason behind it? And try to understand the relationship between the two. Ways. So this is how you will be able to understand the diagram. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Actually, I have a doubt in marketing. I want to ask you a few questions. Sure, sure. Why not? So, uh, in the like the part C of question paper consists of case studies. Uh -huh. So, please tell me a effective way to uh, attempt the case studies. Most effective way to attempt the case is to read it to number one, then try to understand the demand. Of the Usually, students uh, they try to attempt the answer from the case itself. However, it is not a deep case. You should rather see the sliver from the demand of the question and then apply the technical principles that you have been given from the question. For example, if it is a case on marketing plan, then the entire answer you can't copy from the case study. Just refer to the case would not help you. Rather, there is a format of handling the answer for a component of marketing plan. It starts from understanding the vision of the organization. To mission, then it goes to the objectives. Objectives become smart, and then becomes the part. So the awareness of uh, current business environment is crucial for the management st student. So how can a student put these examples in their answer? That is a very relevant query, Ravi, and I am glad that you are able to ask this particular query because I have uh, observed that most of the time students are running short of time. And then, if they read the newspaper on a daily basis, and they have a thorough knowledge of the business environment, which include the environment at various levels, such as physical environment, the internal environment of the organization, external includes micro and uh, macro business environment, then you know it becomes easy for a student to understand the query and apply their conceptual knowledge using the example of the newspaper itself. Now, attempting a question paper is an art. So you know, applying your subjective knowledge, applying your concepts, and connecting it with the environmental concepts that are available in the newspaper, which you go to on a daily basis, would definitely help you out in attempting the question paper. So you know, understanding of business environment is very crucial, and I highly recommend that students should at least go for a two hours of study of newspaper on a daily basis, and then they should just not only study but try to implement, try to connect their subjective knowledge while. Thank you, sir.